Hey there, Epic Homesteaders. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to show you how easy it is to ferment oxalis seed pods. So this is oxalis. It is one of our favorite wild edibles. As you can see, it looks like kind of looks like clover, but it's not. It has yellow flowers if it's grown in the wild. Sometimes the cultivated varieties have bigger leaves and really big pink pretty flowers. This is a wild variety. Here's one growing in my food forest. You can see the, the yellow flowers have closed up. Um, this time of year it's already going to seed. Some of the seed pods whenever you touch them they're bursting with seeds. But if you can catch them before they burst open they're really firm and crunchy and they're sour because they have a lot of oxalic acid in them which can be hard on the kidneys if you uh, ingest too much. Black tea has oxalic acid, uh, spinach has oxalic acid, but um, I would say, you know, just be careful if you have kidney problems. So this is oxalis. Again, these are the seed pods, the long skinny ones. I have had many little helpers today collecting the oxalis seed pods to lacto ferment. So, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I love to lacto ferment things. It actually enhances the nutrition of whatever you're fermenting. So my brine is one quart of filtered water and four teaspoons of sea salt. You don't want to use iodized salt. I got these weights from Amazon and this is a wide mouth mason jar so it fits right in there. You can see how pretty that is. And I have these airlock lids that allow gas to escape as it's fermenting, but they don't allow anything in. So I'm going to leave this on my countertop for probably five days. Um, in the heat of the summer when my kitchen's nice and warm, it would probably be more like three. So I'm hoping because I've never done this before, that it's gonna taste lemony with a little bit of saltiness. So we're gonna give these a try in about a week. And if you are on my uh, Facebook page, Epic Homesteading, I will give you an update on there as to exactly how they taste. So I hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful Sunday afternoon. And until next time, take care.